this video I'm going to show how to do a quick back of the envelope model of MEMS uh, device using envelope. We have uh, two anchors here, two mechanical anchors and a beam. I'm going to uh, connect up first just the mechanical aspects of the system and then we'll come and impose a voltage. So this beam is modeled by a rigid body and I'll connect it to the raised portion of the substrate using a, a torsional spring. And then we'll test this, just this portion mechanically. I've a 100 microns length. Each, each grid point is 10 microns. The height is 10 microns, which is probably exaggerated, but we want to be able to see uh, what's going on. So I'm going to put an angle now on this rigid beam so that we can watch simple mechanical resonance of the system and make sure that we're getting something reasonable before we apply our electric force. But this is how you build up models. So there are the vertical oscillations. All right, now we're going to apply our electric force since things mechanically seem to be okay. Let, let's look at the let's look at the plot and make sure that we have a reasonable resonant frequency. So we find the torsion spring, the rigid body angle, and uh, this is five fifty microseconds per division. So you can see we have uh, the thirty or thirty five microseconds per oscillation, which is fine. Now we'll connect using capacitor force, which is a component that that uh, basically I've I've taken a sp hooks a spring and I've replaced Hooke's law in the spring by I can show you the state equation here by this force law, which is the force law for the force between the plates of par of a parallel plate capacitor, and then we have a voltage that ramps up over time. So this is a another simple back of the envelope formula. But I've, I've just attached it graphically to my last formula. And then I'll run the simulator again. So I have to type in the equation and connect up the components. So here's the response of the device under the, uh, electric, the influence of the electric field and without any initial oscillation. You can see as the voltage goes up by tenths here, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, you can start to see the deflection. Somewhere around three quarters of a volt, we get pull in, maybe a little less. We'll plot the angle of the beam, and you can see the pull in effect. This is an emergent effect. We didn't, I didn't plug in pull in or anything here. Um, it simply comes from these two back of the envelope formulas that I've connected up graphically. All right, thanks for watching.